Good evening, it's finals day here at San Moritz Match Race, the fifth stage of the Alpari World Match Racing Tour 2012. And racing has just this second finished out on the water. The final has been played out, but I'm not going to reveal just yet who is our winner or what's happened during the events of today. Although you can see behind me that they're getting ready, all the crowds are down there to crown the new winner, present the winner's check, pop some champagne corks. There'll be smiles and jubilations and we'll be coming to those shortly. But to bring you up to speed with the day's story, let's start with the semi-finals. We had two new tour card holders up against each other, Laurie Jory and Keith Swinton, and a French face-off between Pierre-Antoine Morvan and Mathieu Richard. We'll see how they played out in the final matches in those semi-finals. So it's Keith Swinton under jib. He's coming in for the finish. So Keith Swinton, the young skipper from Perth in Australia. Black Swan Racing, who is coming up towards the finish line. He is going to defeat Laurie Jury from New Zealand. An excellent performance in this match. Held his nerve, kept his cool. Both skippers sailing their boats fantastically well. But as they turn down to come through the line, he takes the blue flag. Keith Swinton is in his first Apari World Match Racing Tour final. Newcomer to this Apari World Match Racing Tour for 2012. An excellent performance from the young Australian. where Mathieu Richard still has a narrow lead over Pierre-Antoine Morvan. If Richard's able to hold on to this lead, he will close out this semi-final 2-0. That will give him the win and that position in the final to contest for the King of the Mountains here at the Samaritz match racing. More than rolling into a jibe. Does look like some nice pressure on this left side. Surprised Mathieu Richard has let him go there. 
Let's just see how it plays out. Some good options here for more than to try and break back into this match. Already picking up some good pressure. I think Richard could be under pressure here. Our way building all the time on more than's boat. I'm going to take it all the way to the wire here as we come down to the finish. Morvan is definitely faster as Richard comes out of his jibe. Richard picking up that pressure now as well, which may help him out of this situation as Morvan approaches his time to jibe over on this left-hand side. To come back together, it's going to be a close finish between these two French teams. It's Richard coming in from that right side. He is the yellow flag. More than is the blue as we come in. Only boat length separate these two. More than has a lot more speed on him than Richard as Richard dials down to try and get the best of the bias in his line. And they both dive for the finish. And it's the yellow flag. Mathieu Richard punches the air. He is in the final of the summer. It's match racing here on the Sapari World Match Racing Tour. A well-deserved win from the French skipper. It was a good showing from Pierre-Antoine Morvan, but too little too late. Keith Swinton and Mathieu Richard, as you saw there, crossed their respective semi-final winning lines first, which means they went through to the final to battle it out to be crown winner of the San Moritz match race. And we will go straight into that final because I can tell you went the distance. It was a gripping one. Here's how it played out. I mean, this is going to be all on for the final run down to the finish. As Keith Swinton and team round the, uh, the top mark, pole up, up goes the spinnaker. Beautiful set, pop, bang and drawing. That's fabulous teamwork. As Richard comes around behind there, trying to do the same. Oh, a little wine glass in the spinnaker. Oh, that's is not that what you gonna need. going to come out? Is exactly not what you need. And Keith Swinton looks back, I'm sure, over his shoulder. He was in the lead around the top mark. He's on the final run to the finish. This is the first final of the Apari World Match Racing Tour that Keith Swinton has been in. And he is currently leading Mathieu Richard down towards the finish of this line. Keith Swinton from Perth, Australia. He has spent his entire life dedicated to the sport of sailing, dedicated to getting to this point in his career. He secured an Apari World Match Racing card to bring him onto this Apari World Match Racing for Thor 2012. And as he runs down towards the finish line, I'm sure the smiles are beginning to break across the faces of his crew. All the hard work is paid off. It is Keith Swinton sailing in over Mathieu Richard down towards the finish. Samaritz match race has been treated to an exhibition of sailing here on top of the world as Keith Swinton and his team who have sailed superbly in this final, sail down towards the line now, only meters to go. Keith Swinton is in a smile and it's a rightly deserved smile as the crowds are up, they hug each other and celebrate. A rightly deserved win for Keith Swinton and his team, Black Swan Racing. Well, we just saw Keith Swinton cross the line first ahead of Mathieu Richard, and he's come ashore straight away to talk to us. So, Keith, what did it feel like crossing first, knowing that you were a winner here at San Moritz Match Race? Well, obviously, first of all, it was a big relief. Um, it's been a long day and, um, you know, five difficult long races. So, a big relief and now just excitement that we've won our first World Match Racing Tour event. Did you think you would actually win an event on the tour this year or were you just hoping to get in amongst the, the mix? I guess in the back of our mind we knew we were capable of winning an event but I guess thinking that you're capable and then actually going out and doing it is two different things. So, um, But now we've done it, it's awesome and we can you know, look to do it some more. 
I was just about to say, has it given you the taste for more? Are you going to want to stand on that podium again? We're going to send you over to do that in just a second. But will you be able to do that again this tour? There's only a few regattas left. Well, I think, I hope so. I know we, when we won our first grade one event, we then won the next one after that. So hopefully, maybe we can do that again. Um, obviously, it's a nice feeling when you win. So you want to try and do it as much as possible. And we've got Marseille coming up and that's going to be a good event for us in four-man boats as well, so we're very excited for that. You get the champagne moment, going along the bandstand, um, being applauded, you get the winner's money, but you also get valuable points for the overall leaderboard, which means the most? Oh, I think just winning is the most important thing. It's a, always a great feeling when you're able to, you know, sail a good regatta and, uh, you know, improve continually and, and, you know, take the win is great. And obviously, you know, everything that comes with that, with that is great. But it's, you know, the feeling of winning is, you know, just fantastic. And, and that's what we do it for. We saw you pop those champagne corks earlier. I'm sure there's more of that to come. We're going to let you go and collect your trophy and your winner's cheque. But congratulations once again. Thank you very much. And here we can confirm the overall event standings for Samaritz match race. As you can see, Keith Swinton sitting proud at the top with 31 points he collected with his Black Swan racing team here in Switzerland. Followed by Matthew Richard, who's won here twice before, but he couldn't make it a trio. 28 points for him. Pierre-Antoine Morvan, he's the guy to watch from France on the overall tour leaderboard. It will affect that standing as well for him. Another third place finish, 24 points. Laurie Jewelry behind him in fourth. Johnny Burnson, who had a good qualifying round but slipped afterwards. He finished in fifth with 17. Peter Gilmore, one of the more experienced skippers on this tour from Yanmar Racing with 15. And there's a couple of names we were looking out for as we started this regatta and they're down in seventh and eighth. Bjorn Hansen from Sweden finished with 12 points, an extra two that he's gained on Ian Williams, who finished down with 10 in eighth. Jerome Clare with with five points, Eric Monin behind him, Josh Jr. and tour card holder Phil Robertson. This was one to forget for him down in 12th. And this is what it has done to the tour standings after five events of the Alpari World Match Racing Tour 2012. Bjorn Hansen has now extended his lead at the top to six points in first place with his Mechanoman sailing team ahead of the current world champion Ian Williams and GAC Pindar who have 87. They are just six points ahead of Pierre-Antoine Morvan. Morvan 12 off Bjorn Hansen but it's not all over for him on 81 points. A bigger gap between third and fourth Peter Gilmore from Yanmar Racing on 69 Keith Swinton with this win here at Samaritz match race has moved up to fifth with his Black Swan racing team and now sits there on 64 above Phil Robertson of Walker Racing team on 56 Laurie Jury's good performance here has helped him move up to seventh on 49 and down from eighth to twelfth Johnny Burnson Matthew Richard Jordan Reese, Torvar Mursky and Simona Ferrarese So as you can see behind me, Keith Swinton has been crowned the winner of San Moritz Match Race, the fifth stage of the Alpari World Match Racing Tour 2012. The debut win for him on the tour this season as a new tour card holder. Can he improve on that? He's moved up to fifth in the overall tour rankings now. He'll be hoping he can do more damage at Match Race France. But I think I just have this inkling that Bjorn Hansen and Ian Williams might have something to say about that. We'll see you in France for more. Okay. Bye for now. Thank you very much.
Space, 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 space